UFC Fight Night, July 15th. Holly Holm, former UFC bantamweight champion, at 41 years old, is still fighting in the division. It's been eight years since she won her UFC title. Holly intends on getting that title back, and she said that she's not stopping until the brakes fall off. So Holly is gonna continue, and she intends to win this fight. She's ranked much higher, ranked at number three in the division. She's taking on Maida Bueno Silva, who's ranked seven spots lower at number 10. She's 10 years younger. She's a much younger woman going into this fight. It's a huge opportunity for Maida to not only win a fight, but to beat an ex-UFC champion. And not just that, beat somebody who's way above her in the rankings. Really give her that opportunity to just move up the rankings where you need to be to win a title. Right at number 10, she's not getting a title shot. It's gonna take a long time. But if she can beat Holly Holm in this fight somehow, finish her or win even a decision, this will be not only the biggest fight of her life, but it will be the biggest leap that she ever achieved from just one fight. Holly, in her last four fights, has fought exceptionally well. Holly's not slowing down. She looks great, not just for her age, but for a fighter and for somebody in the division. Can she continue as she ages? That's the big question here. Can a younger woman go out, destroy Holly Holm? What Bueno Silva needs to do. These are complete opposites in terms of their style set and the way they fight. Since 2020, Maida Bueno Silva has had seven fights. Holly Holm has had four fights. She's won three and four in those four fights. Holly's fought the best in the world since 2015, since destroying Ronda Rousey. She's fought the top right now in the band weight division, beating Raquel Pennington, Irene Aldana, who's getting a title shot, and Yana Santos in her last fight. Holly Holm has proven that she can beat women like Irene Aldana or Raquel Pennington at her age. Myra Brunasova in her last three fights has fought as well as we've seen her in the Ultimate Fighting Championship, beating Yana Wu, Stephanie Egger, and Lena Landsberg. And her last two fights were both submission victories in the first round and the second round. Stephanie Egger tried to pretend she didn't tap, but she did and it was fast. She can land and lightning quick submissions. That's what Holly Holm needs to watch out for in this fight. Holly might want to keep this fight standing up, might not want to go on the ground with Myra Bonasova and might need to really utilize her takedown defense, which is usually on par. If Myra Bonasova can take Holly Holm down and keep this fight on the ground, this is gonna be a five round fight. She's got an amazing opportunity to submit Holly, who's only been submitted once in her career, and it's a long career. Holly is hard to submit. It's hard to make Holly Holm make a mistake, but then again, most of her fights were standing up and she's always had some distance, clinched up or taken down in order to be submitted. And that's why Holly Holm is known as one of the best boxers slash kickboxers to ever compete in mixed martial arts. In this fight, I gotta pick a winner. I'm picking Maida Buena Silva. I think that she's younger. It's a long fight and that favors her. And I really feel like she needs to win. And although she hasn't fought the top competition like Holly Holm has, I think age is the biggest factor here. She's in the Ultimate Fighting Championship. She's ranked in the top 10 or top 15. And that where she always wanted to be. And she just needs to continue. This is the perfect opportunity for her. And if Maida Buena Silva can't beat Holly Holm in this fight, it's really gonna put a damper on her career. So th this is where she needs to be right now. It's the biggest fight of her career. It's the biggest challenge. It's gonna be a really tough challenge for her, but if she can persevere in this fight and win this fight, it's gonna be a much different career for her. So I'm picking Myra Bonasilva for the fight.